Yeah. I am so excited for this Nintendo Direct. Like, I hate it when they always like, hey, it's tomorrow, guys. It's tomorrow. Yeah. Get fucked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, but what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Mm. It's Nintendo. I, hopefully there's not like a shadow drop of like a big game, though. Like, I they mean, did that for a little while. it's a part of the showcase, so probably not. Yeah, probably. I, they did it for a while, back in like 2021. And they were like, hey, this Zelda game's coming out tomorrow, by the way. It's like, wait, what the fuck? Yeah. The amount of Twitch and YouTube streaming schedules I saw change completely because the yesterday was hilarious, right? <laughs> Apparently, this and the Museum Direct thing were meant to happen in August. Really? Yeah. But, but they got pushed back, so maybe next Direct, whenever that is, we'll get Switch too. I mean, it's still August. Hmm. We have it like early August. Oh, early August. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I did see the museum direct, and that looks so cool. Like, I want to go looks there. So good. I, I want to. I want to be LJ with the giant N sixty four controller. They, they have all the old <laughs> stuff Nintendo made too, like from like the board games and shit. And I'm like, that's really yeah. cool historic. Like, not everyone knows that. You know, there are Nintendo mm. playing cards from way back in the day. <laughs> yeah, that's cool shit. I really want to go there. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. We'll now present today's Indie World Showcase and Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase back to back. First up, here's the Indie World Showcase. Oh, so it's Partner and Indie World. I thought the part. I thought the Indie World was the partners. No. Okay, so it's indie world stuff first. Looks like it, yeah. Hi everyone, and Hi. welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. Whoa. And I'm Andrew. We're back with more indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. Ooh, Finn's working on an article. I'm it's excited time to read to it. Lay our cards on the mm -mm. table. Sure thing. Wait, why is there a Joker in my hand? Here's the deal. Cards? A Palatra. I don't know what Baltro yeah, is. What's Baltro? Ba Baltro is gambling, but it's really easy to cheese. So it's cheesy gambling. It's, it's yeah. gambling that you might win. Yeah. Oh, that's but awesome. Witcher and Vampire Survivors? Okay. That's kind of cool. The Witcher? Really? <laughs> Dave the Diver! Oh my god. <laughs> um, that's interesting. I'm not <laughs> yes. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. For now, what are they gonna do? For now? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that's silly. I love it. It's free as well. That's cool. That is really cool. You think they're gonna announce Silk Song today? <laughs> Maybe. Feels like I'm buying this game right now. Honestly, I'm tempted now too. Ultra is cool. I haven't played it myself, but it looks really good. Oh, they did Gris too? This is the same group? Uh, this, is no, another group. This, is, uh, this is another group. Gris is a beautiful game. If you guys have not played Gris, please play it. It's so mm. fucking good. It's so beautiful. I cried. I actually played it live on stream when my first time and it was gorgeous. Hell yeah. Okay, Steph, as was designed by the universe, I'm gonna bail on you now. You bitch. <laughs> Bye, Finn. Bye, Finn. We love you. I love you more though. Mm. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this Wait, I think it's cool. Is this? Yeah, this is for the people who make Gris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This art style's gorgeous. What? It looks really good. Okay, there. Huh. It almost reminds me of a mix of like Armed with Wings with Gris. Mm. 
I was coming on two months. Oh damn. Never. That looks really cool. I like it. I like it. This looks cool. Creep and crawl your way up the corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's buzzing with mysteries. <laughs> insect megacorp? Moth Cubit? Moth Cubit, an ordinary employee <laughs> who's recently received a promotion. But this is no time to celebrate. Wait, is this a rhythm game? What, what's happening here? <laughs> the final process is looming. Can Moth and his fellow bugs save the company? Or even reality itself? As you investigate the cramped cubicles and creepy corridors of the corporation, you'll befriend bugs from all walks of life. Each a story that's interwoven with Moth. Not everyone will be friendly, uh, though. Take oh. on enemies in verbal showdowns with multiple dialogue choices and be sure to bring your fighting words. What's this whole green your screen thing they got going on here? I was like, yeah. I was like, what's this green screen? Multiple like, if you put on a green screen, on, does it, like, do something different? So Maybe? And see what happens. Moth Cubit buzzes onto Nintendo Switch. Jump out the yes. window. Okay, then. <laughs> it buzzes onto hey the guys. Switch. <laughs> and Dio from Tokyo Productions in Indonesia. We're part of Coffee Talk team, and with oh, Coffee Japan Talk and the original mm. creator Fahmi, we created Coffee Talk and Coffee Talk episode two. I remember that. Hey everyone, I'm Anna Winterstein, a game designer and a writer. I was the co-writer of Coffee Talk Hibiscus and Butterfly alongside Junkie at Toge. Hi, I'm Kita Ogawa, a writer and uh, English to Japanese games translator. I had the privilege to work on the Japanese translations of both Coffee Talk games. Today, we are thrilled to announce that we are partnering with Coders to expand the Coffee Talk world. We've been hard at work over the last year to come up with a story that retains the cozy elements Coffee Talk fans are fond of, but at the same time brings something new to the table. And now, we're very proud to announce an exciting Tea -talk. new game for Coffee Talk mm. fans. Coffee, Coffee Talk, Talk Tokyo! Tokyo. Ooh. Ooh. Tokyo 2025, the distant future. <laughs> the far-flung future of next year. 2020X. <laughs> I was retired. You young says you don't know how nice you're having your whole career ahead of you. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not loud coffee, but I want something. Oh my god. He's real for that, honestly. Yo, that mixtape was fire, hell yeah. <laughs> Pulling a Scott Pilgrim here. Yeah. No, no, it's not Scott Pilgrim, was it? It was, um... It's the I guy mean... who basically is Scott Pilgrim. It's another fucking yeah. thing he did. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I, I mean, I, I've always liked the ideas of the coffee talks um, mm. shows. They also had one for like D and D. That's like a tavern talk thing, which is really cool too. Ooh. Look a little familiar. No, I don't. <laughs> you don't know I've never me. Seen you before in my life. Some upcoming downloadable content that will take you to new and unexpected places. Discover a miniature Ooh. clockwork world in the Sea of Stars, Throws of the Watchers. Sea of Stars DLC? DLC? Okay. For a journey full of I need to finish Sea of Stars. I've, have to play I think I've heard the name, but I've never played it. What, is it like a Final Fantasy kind of thing? Yeah, it's an RPG. Okay, yeah, yeah, fair think, enough. Think like Chrono Trigger. Okay, okay, okay. Will dazzle as an acrobat. Together, Admittedly, I've never played Chrono Trigger either. <laughs> 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 Hilarious enough, I think the last RPG I played was uh, Triangle Strategy, mm. which was a lot of fun. It looks it. For sea of Stars launches on Nintendo Switch next spring. Hey, get out Is that of my swamp! Sorry, Amber. Oh no! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good! And I 
looking like an Alice in Wonderland thing. He's gonna fucking Shrek. Oh my god! He got a whole night armor and everything! The power washes, the, the guns are swords! It's so good! Holy shit! <laughs> Game of the year, 10 out of 10! <laughs> they, they, won, they, they won it already! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that was funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh. Hi, kitty. Look at that kitty cat. He's just chilling. Just vibing, having a good time. Yeah. Please enjoy the first ever trailer for our strange little game. Oh, okay. Hmm. Ooh. I always love it how like the art in like a lot of indie games are is so creative and unique because they have those limitations yeah. of not being a triple A studio to get like the super realistic bullshit. Yeah. Like you can definitely take tell this takes this take homage to like Lamb of the Lamb of the Cult, the Cult of the Lambs and Lamb stuff like Lamb that. Of <laughs> Lamb of the Cult, yeah. uh, Hades, all that kind of stuff. But it's also got a very mm. unique vibe to it, which I adore. Yeah. Cute. Okay, them's tentacles. Oh, you just swap. That's a it's sub. A pigeon. Right, pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> a sandwich huh. for 15? That's an expensive sandwich. I don't know, if you've gone to Subway recently, the sandwich is like 20. Fair point. <laughs> Oh, suddenly 3D. Suddenly there's a lot of eyeballs. Yeah. Muscles. Does this, does this take place in the digestive track out of curiosity? It looks like we're going down like an esophagus or something. Perhaps. I don't like that we have like an intestinal magic school bus going there. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. for this next game. That's right. Household objects, appliances, and I know this game. Oh, it's this game. And date everything. A game yep. which you can in I forgot about this game. With 100 dateable characters, there are plenty of Okay. Hey, okay, here's a question. Yeah. Look around your house right now. If they became anime boys or anime girls, who would you date? Uh despise Doug. That's one hell of a style. Uh, that that is crazy. You can date the text box? They're voiced? A hundred of them? Oh my god! Honestly, their fucking like designs are really good though. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah. Not just in love, but also in friendship, or even disdain. Find the object of your affection when date everything. The fucking socket box. I'm going to try to date my PC. <laughs> I already fuck around with it so much, anyways. And I'm yeah. Jeff, the game designer of Peglin and the founder of Red Nexus Games. Peglin! Peglin! The first version of Peglin at a game jam in 2019. The theme of the jam was fall, and we wanted to create something fun and physics-y. We ended up creating the first version of Peglin's battle system. When the pandemic started, I've seen a bit of Peglin. It looks cool. Fun and creative it's a fun game. game. We made cute places and enemies for our little goblin friend to explore. We then added two of our friends to help speed up development, and now four years later, we're a team of seven, and we're excited to bring Peglin to Nintendo Switch. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! The dragons have been stealing your gold for as long as you can remember. It's a fun it's game. It's, it's it's like one of those power builder games. You get three yeah. maps you have to go through. Hmm. And you just gotta like, power build the shit out of your build. Hell yeah. And it's, it's, it's very fun. It's like one of those games you see like, dangerously funny or something played to like, abuse the systems. Yeah. The more pegs you hit, the more devastating the blow you'll deal to your enemies. It's also really cool to see like how um the maps are shaped like all the enemies too. Yeah. Others will pierce both pegs and enemies. 
and some will oh even kill you for everything mm -hmm. you hit. I was I like really bomb cool. rounds. Yeah. Your properties too. They can explode, help you unlock the critical power of your orbs and more. With careful planning and aiming, you can create some spectacular combos. Oh yeah. Relics Damn. Dramatically change your game too. Equip these rare passive power-ups to prevent lethal damage or turn pegs into bombs. Just to name a few. Oh my Each god! Mm -hmm. opportunities for possible combinations. Teach those dragons a lesson when Peglin bounces onto Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive later today. Wow, okay. Ooh. That was quick. Yeah. Wobbly Island. Is this Roblox? <laughs> <laughs> no, what's the other game? The fucking one that everyone was playing for a little while. It's like little guys are going, we're here, we're here. There's a lot of those. We had to do like, like obstacle courses and shit. Oh, like, you mean like gang beasts? Like what? Gang beasts, not gang beasts. Human full flat. Yes, there we go. But Gang Beast, yeah, too. Yeah. Cool. You look silly. I know, For I know Fortnite did anything. Oh, <gasps> Pico Park. Hello oh, there, Pico no. Park. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, careful. There's a... Oh, Oops. Let's try this again. Scoot. Scoot. Jump. I've never played Pico Park, but I really want to. I have played it with my hey, Final Fantasy XIV FC members. Oh no. It was a time. <laughs> and jump! Got it. Yay! We make a great team. Now let's try it with eight players. <laughs> I, will, I imagine that's horrible. It's, 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 it's tough. Players need to work together to navigate levels full of ledges, cliffs, and other obstacles. Use strategic stacking, coordinated movement, and puzzle solving skills to find all the keys and reach. It's really fun exit. though. There are more than six but you will hate the people you're playing it with. No matter how many players you have so basically started. Mario Party. Pretty much. Think again. Except Even it's a platformer. <laughs> Will be put to the ultimate test. What? Oh yeah, if one person dies, you will have to restart. Later today. Oh, it's coming out today. Shit. All right. Oh damn. Oh, it's a sequel. I didn't know it was a sequel. Here are some more titles headed to the Nintendo Switch system in the near future. Shovel Knight. I tried Shovel Knight when the Switch first came out. I could not get into it for whatever reason. That's fair. It's not gonna be for everyone. Yeah. I do remember fucking um, Game Grumps playing it though. though yeah. it just like, that was really fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> One of them games where it was a lot more fun for me to watch. Mm. Oh, yeah, this game is cute. Oh, hey. It was fun. I played it for a little bit. Yeah. It was cute. The character designs are also really cool too. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is made by Humble Games, huh? Hmm. Ooh. I love it whenever Humble Games makes something. It's just really cool. Yeah. Metal Slug? As a tactics game? Apparently. Okay, then. It does now! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's a big one there. What? <laughs> Holy shit. The Plucky Squire. Whoa! Oh, oh, that's cute! From 2D to 3D? That's really cool. Oh Punch my him. god! So like you actually interact with the with the different books around the room or something? That's really cool. I like that. Yeah. Pizza. I found it in that tower over there. What tower? Pizza tower. <laughs> I'm surprised this wasn't already on Switch. I thought so too, honestly. Like I feel like I've seen Pizza Tower a lot. It's really good. Explore five four. Oh, maybe it's like DLC, eh? Maybe. Find the toppings. <laughs> God, oh, I want noise. pizza. Fuck. Yeah, same. <laughs> I 
You know, Pizza Town's really good. <laughs> it looks so funny. <laughs> it looks like abs it looks like this weird mix of like old new grounds and like courage the cowardly dog. Oh yeah. And con arcade days. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know what that is? I'm so insane. sorry you're that old. <laughs> Oh, like, I guess it was it never on, on yeah. Oh. I could have sworn it was. Yeah. That's all for today. I'm definitely gonna take a look at Baltero or Balcro, whatever it's called. Balcro is really cool. As always, a big thank you to our Andy community and partners. I would date Textbox Chan. I I also would date Textbox Chan. <laughs> <laughs> Hoover was a good name though. Like holy shit, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Henry Hoover. Henry Hoover. Totally, they turned Henry Hoover into a husbando. I can't even turn your existential dread into a husbando. <laughs> okay, time for part two. A lot of boogaloo. <laughs> Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner. All right, are you guys ready for Silk Song? <laughs> it's coming out today. Switch games. <laughs> it's coming. It's being announced. It's coming out today. Okay. It's coming out today. Yeah, Silk Song is coming out today, guys. I say as I have not beaten Radiance or Nightmare King Grim yet. <laughs> Tetris. That's another Tetris. Ooh. Like OG Tetris. 40th anniversary of Tetris with a historic games. Yeah, there's been out forever. I mean, yeah, but like damn. Tetris, Chain combos Tetris 2. In Tetris 2 plus Bobless. Oh. Whoa. Use special moves to win in Tetris Battle Guided. More cool. in this That's a lot of Tetris. That, that is a lot of Tetris. What is Hatris? I have no idea. Enjoy the brand new Tetris Time Warp, where you'll jump Tetris Time Warp from across the series. Oh, oh no, that's <laughs> fun. Watch new documentary clips. I thought it was gonna be like, like a 5D chess thing where you have to go from like one Tetris board to another. Yeah. <laughs> For a second, I'm like, oh, please, no. <laughs> Plus, the NES version of Tetris is oh, that's cool. Switch yeah. This winter. It'll be interesting because like a lot of those, already hasn't. A lot of those like tactics people use to like do Tetris really well require the physical controller to do stuff. So yeah. it's really like gonna be interesting to see how they do the good stuff on the Switch. Mm. Silk Song never Roku see. says Roku, you're just not a believer. I see a Kita, I'm already intrigued. This looks fun. After yeah. Star overdrive. Through a massive alien world to reunite with your beloved. We have to like surf through this alien world. Yeah, oh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's lagging for me. Yeah, it's up for me too. Yeah. Scorching sands to wavy water. Oh, this looks sick. It will challenge your traversal skills. Along the way, you'll face enemies. It doesn't even scare about how it's gonna run on Switch though. <laughs> <laughs> What? That's cool. That's really Yo, cool. Let's go. Multiple oh. boards. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, dude. D20s? Yeah. Dodecahedrons. Oh my god. This looks really good. I love like the hover. Like, that, that's what got me into uh, another game. I forgot what it was. It's like the desert, like, traversing game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love their sandworm. But it, 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 it's, it's that same once when you play Sonic and just going fast through like really yeah. crazy areas. That's the same vibe, and I like it. Goat Simulator. Goat Simulator. Let's go. We're not kidding. I don't. I remember Goat Simulator One being this massive thing, but I've not oh, seen yeah, anything about two huge. or three. I haven't seen two, but three is 
Three, three is something. Join a yoga class and tag it, it is you can do all of that insane. Complete quest and game cards. Have you played three? The story and I haven't, but I've seen you see game lots of people have. Yeah. Floral shirts and inflatable tubes to goat variants, including <laughs> goat variants. That's um a generous <laughs> way of being a goat variant. You're a fucking <laughs> hammerhead. <laughs> Oh shit, Unleash really? All sorts of bad mischief in two player online or I can't believe they copied Legend of Zelda with the glider. <laughs> I can't believe they just copied Legend of Zelda. God, everything's copying Legend of Zelda now. Because ev everyone knows gliders existed only because of Zelda. Exactly! Now you're getting it. Yeah. Here's a rapid fire mix of first reveals and game updates coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, okay. Rapid okay. fire. Ooh. Ooh. Trails? What? Okay. I've heard the name before. Is that a fucking evil? Oh my god, it's Hunters. Yeah, this game's pretty rough. I wouldn't Trail? recommend it. Tra Trails is getting a remake? I guess so. In, in the style of like, the Secret of Mana remakes? That's really cool, actually. I've been meaning to play that series. <laughs> I've I've heard I've heard of the games. I've never played them. Worms, let's go! Worms! I love worms. Unironically, love worms. I've never played it, but I've seen a lot of it. It's very silly. If you get a group of friends to play it with you, it's the it's much better. Mm. Disney. What is this music? I don't know. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh God. <laughs> This is the whole game, guys. Yeah, this, this is it. This is Patrick. <laughs> oh, the Patrick Star game. Okay. Oh my God. Oh no. I. Oh no. God, I copied Legends of Zelda with the glider again. <laughs> <laughs> Experiment with items you find, from exploding pies to paint tubes to make the world. It's Splatoon! Whoa! Da -na -na -na. Da -da -da. <laughs> no, 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 it's the Crayola scooters. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> hey, you turn out the lights. Step into Patrick's shorts and the inner machinations of his mind. I don't, I don't want to. SpongeBob SquarePants. Patrick. <laughs> we have the same <laughs> reaction. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Cool. Ready for your very own oh, I love the boxing game. Yeah. They're cute. Okay, let's get started. Ready. I just need the Miku one to come out in the West. The fitness boxing series is punching its way onto Nintendo Switch. Newly added features make it easier to train more regularly. Use quick workout to jump into Maybe I should get that since I'm not like being physical anymore, like because I'm not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> just go in my room, be like. I'm just waiting for the Miku one to come out. Drills. You'll practice with your instructor at your own pace. Good. That's cool. There's a Miku boxing one? Yeah. Oh, okay. it, it's currently only out in Japan so far. Training experience. 30 brand new songs are included. Oh, they're like actual oh songs. But well, they have an Alan Wake song in there? Wait, what? Did they? Yeah, they had an Alan no, Wake no, song no, in no, there. Alan, Alan Walker. Walker, never mind. <laughs> I was like, wait, Alan Wake? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, the music from the first game was pretty dope, but like, I did not expect them to put Alan Wake in there, what? <laughs> Street Fighter? And Fatal Fury? Oh, it's the Marvel vs. Capcom stuff. Yeah. This is cool. Ooh, okay. Here's the complete roster of games. Capcom versus SNK Millennium Fight 2000 Pro. Insane title Capcom versus SNK 2 <laughs> Mark of the Millennium 2001 Project Oh my Justice. god If I can't play as Apollo Justice that I'm calling it bullshit <laughs> 
I know in one of the like uh, Capcom versus like Marvel games, you can play as Phoenix Wright. Yeah. He he just yells objection and people get hurt. <laughs> no, but that's actually what happens. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's canon in the game too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you can see the hitboxes as well. Ooh, that's, that's cool. You can also visit the museum to enjoy artwork and music. I always love like the background artwork for that. That's so cool. Yeah. Capcom Fighting Collection 2 launches on Nintendo Switch hmm. next year. Plus, Plus, jump into the fray. Oh, so it is Marvel coming out too. All right. Fighting Collection Arcade Classic. No, it's X. Oh, okay, never mind. There is also September 12th. Yeah, because I know they already released an announced this. Nintendo eShop. The physical version of the game launches I... on Nintendo Switch November 22nd. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Next, please take a look at this. Okay. They haven't done a DC one, have they? What's... Who are you? Ooh. It is pretty. It is very pretty. Oh! Gun! <laughs> oh! Gun! This fucking got me! I wasn't expecting it to have a fucking rifle! <laughs> oh shit, wait, what? <laughs> What on earth is happening? <laughs> the tone shifted pretty quickly. Yeah! I just went from like decorating a house. It's kind of chilling. She she got the shoe guns like Bayonetta. <laughs> oh, it's Atelier! Oh! oh I, I need to play that series. I've played one of them. I played the Atelier City building city game one. Mm -hmm. Um, the fights were, uh, they didn't look like that, that's for sure. <laughs> they were different. Wow. HD remasters of the first two Suikoden games are coming to Nintendo Switch Ooh. in one button. Never heard yeah. of them. Neither. I'll take a gander. Let's see what they're like. RPGs. Yeah. During your travels, you can strengthen your home base and expand your spheres of influence while fighting for snack. your cause. This collection adds new support. Oh, that's a two headed snack. That is the normal snack. Oh. And automate battles with a single button. Suikoden 1 and 2 HD Remaster, Gate Rune, and Dunan Unification Wars launches on Nintendo Switch March Today. 6th, 2025. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this looks so good. Hey, Dragon Quest. This looks so good. You can now customize their appearance. Ooh. Ooh. Monster Wrangler location. You can use monster the Dragon Quest uh, artwork is pretty awesome, honestly. It's really cool. Like, I, I, I do love that vibe of, like, 80s, 90s uh, anime. Yeah. Dragon Quest is yet another RPG series I've been meaning to play. <laughs> I have too many RPGs to play. And the worst part is each one takes, like, three years. Yeah. <laughs> Castlevania. Ooh, another one. Oh, the DS Castlevania games? Okay. Rise again in a That's cool. Arcade classic haunted castle is also included. I uh, uh, I've seen a little bit of the Castlevania um anime essentially, but I've not really seen much of the actual games. <laughs> Neither have I. The anime has a bunch of twinks in it. <laughs> so many fucking twinks. <laughs> Ah, oh, they're putting Siv in there. Oh, Siv 7's coming to Switch? Okay, then. Legendary historical figures, including newly added leaders such as Queen Himiko. Friendship is her strength, and she can initiate diplomatic endeavors that help you research new technology. I remember when I played Siv, I would always play as Venice back when it was Civ 5. And I'd piss yeah. off all my friends. I knew how to do the economy super well. And I'd just <laughs> buy out everyone, and they'd be like, Why are all the city states giving you shit? I'm like, I got money, bitch. 
<laughs> why, why are you winning so much? It's because, like, I can pay for my military. I don't need to build them. I just build wonders. <laughs> they hated me. Plus, you and your friends can see your kingdoms collide in online or local play. Can you create an empire that stands the test of time? Turn the page on a revolutionary... I really enjoyed Civ 5 a lot. I did not do a lot of Civ 6. February. That's fast. Okay. I, did, I did not know Civ was coming out in February. Yeah. I knew it was coming out, just not that soon. Yeah. Bonds, transcending time. What is this? Celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Tales oh, it's of Tales. With a Ooh. Of RPG, Tales of Grace's F. When the cool. I played Tales of Vesperia, and that's about it. <laughs> I like Tales of Vesperia a lot, though. Yeah. Again, another RPG friends. I've been meaning to play. <laughs> <things. laughs> I think I got like Tales of Zelia or something like that as well. Yeah. And I never finished that. Mm. But there was, there was a period of time where I just really liked the Tales series. Yeah. As well as downloadable content. Then I went to like wreck. Wait, why does that guy look just like Raven from Tales of Vesperia? He has the same fucking jacket. What? Mm -mm. The guy with the purple jacket looked just like looked like it was just like Ravens from fucking Vesperia. <laughs> what the bullshit? Well, maybe Raven was a reference to that character, but still, like, what the bullshit? Yeah. My Sims. One cozy bundle. Uh huh. Is this considered oh. retro now? Is retro re-release? Are you kidding me? Fuck you, Nintendo. I'm not that old. What, 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 when did My Sims come out? Mid 2000s. My Sims release date. 2007. Yeah, mid 2000s. That was right. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's it's not retro yet. How long does it have to be? How long was that? How long? Years. Twenty years. Okay. So three, three years. Three years. Fuck my childhood's retro. The Nintendo DS is retro. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Yay! The dinosaur. <laughs> I never played the actual My Sims game, but I had a My Sims racing game on my DS. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's, hello. I wanted two is coming to Switch? Okay. Don't know how they're gonna make a, a VR game. I, can't, I mean, they did it with the first one. I mean, they also do, they also do have a Nintendo Switch VR system. Yeah, but that's Labo. Yeah, I know. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I could play this at the actual version of this game now that I have a VR headset. Oh, yeah, but you I can. Don't want to. <laughs> You get scared shitless. Oh yeah. You're, you're saying that I, 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 that cursed baby crawling towards you through vents scary? Perhaps. Nintendo Switch this holiday. And if you're looking for more adventures in the Mega Pizza Oh, hello. A ruin wasn't on Switch already? Oh, that looks terrible. Oh, oh that looks terrible. Let's check out some Nintendo Switch games. I'm gonna remind Loki that they promised to play every uh, FNAF game on stream and they're gonna hate me for it. Oh no. Oh god, the Lego! Wait, the what? Funko game. I forgot about Epic Mickey Remake. Yeah, I forgot about it too, honestly. Tales oh, of the, the Shire? Oh, the Tales of the Shire. If it's multiplayer, I'll get it, just like so I play with Elijah. Rather than that. Yeah. Just Dance. I haven't played a Just Dance since like, two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have either. The, the, the Funko game. Are they trying to like do like a Lego game can shoot thing a here? gun as Freddy Fazbear? Oh my god. <laughs> Football! Excuse you? 
We're in America right now. It's a soccer. <laughs> I like the Lego. I like the little, like Horizon Walkers Lego builds. Those are, things are cool. Oh, hello. What is this? Dragons. Ooh. What's going on here? <laughs> Dragon fight. I it guess. was literally like yin and yang. One of them had black highlights on their on their costume. The other one had white, but it was on the black dragon. The middle one's on the white dragon. Yeah. After a calamity struck, the energy sources known as calamities. <gasps> They're copying the Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> oh, it's Rune Factory. Oh shit, it's Rune Factory? Yeah. He just said it in, in this in this new take on the Rune Factory series. Use the sacred drum to help crops. Rune Factory farming game, I guess. I didn't expect Rune Factory to. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 I'm a big fan of the Harvest Moon, you know, franchise, and that includes Rune yeah. Factory. But I'm a little surprised. Is this, is this like Rune Factory Six or something? I don't think so. Doesn't look like. I mean, they just came out with five, which literally gave me headaches because it just was. The art was wild, but, beware, but monsters may lie in wait. Like I love Rune Factory three and four; those are good. Harness your hmm. Earth dancer abilities to confront them. I mean, it looks kind of cool. Monsters to their human form. It does. <laughs> okay. Lord Ura, G giant guy. As you settle into village life, get to know the community around you and deepen your relationships to find friendship. Or good, we can smooch the villagers. I'm glad. Even be on the horizon. Experience a beloved series reimagined. In Rune Factory, Guardians of Azuma, huh. launching on Nintendo Switch. All right, I'm gonna screen. quickly text a friend or two. Yeah. Give me one second. Next will be our last announcement. Please take oh. a look. This is the last thing. Yakuza. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Kiwami! Okay. Uh, amazing! Is Yakuza already on Switch then? Is Yakuza 0 already on Switch? Because Kiwami's the second one, I'm pretty sure. In Kamurocho, Japan's largest <laughs> district, here you must navigate the twists and turns of Tokyo's underworld. While I was not expecting game. Yakuza. Uh, neither was I. I also wasn't expecting. Uh, wait, oh, this. Real time combat. Fight bare knuckle. I actually just started playing the first Yakuza game recently. And go up against anything in your it's fun. I know Finn's recommended Yakuza like no goddamn tomorrow. <laughs> So take a break from brawling every once in a while. And play baseball. And do yeah. photo shoots. <laughs> Discover how the epic series began when Yakuza Kiwami launches on Nintendo Switch. Wow. That's soon. That is really soon. That's all for today's Damn. Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Thank you for You're watching. Welcome. Well, Another day with no Silk Song. <laughs> yeah, oh, guys, I thought, you know, I thought Silk Song was coming out today. I thought it was going to be out. Okay. Oh, how could I have, how could I have not guessed that it wouldn't be out today? Damn. Damn. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I, I think I gave you all false hope with my super accurate predictions. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so sorry. Mm. I can't believe you'd lie to us like this. <laughs> 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 Roku's back to say <laughs> Silk Song never. <laughs> but Roku, but Roku, they're gonna have another Nintendo Direct in like a month, and then Silk Song is gonna be announced. Trust me, I know this. Like, trust. trust me, trust me. Like, like I, 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 I pulled, I pulled it out of my deck of watch. Ready? Right? Pull a card. Boom. Nine of nine of nine of nine of spades. That means Silk Song's coming out. Damn. Like tomorrow. It's vaporwave. <laughs> it's, va it's vaporware. <laughs> so, what are you most excited about that we've seen here? Uh I mean the the, the trails remake looks really good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
and I, all the other RPGs I need to play. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited to see how the Rune Factory one goes, and I'm also excited yeah. for that one that was like the race, the the the, the skateboard one. Oh wait, what's trying to play now? I do not want to see the Mario Deluxe Championship. Oh, God, Thank you very much. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but oh yeah, hold on, wait. What's this? What are these things here? Uh, Castlevania's. I, I was like, I was like, is anyone gonna say Silk Song here? Yeah, there yeah. goes Silk Song. <laughs> I was like, Silk Song, Silk Song. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's some. There's some, I, I, I like the waveboard one, whatever that one was called. I'll keep yeah. an eye out for it. That looked really cool. It looks really good. And there's a lot of cool stuff here that looked great. Uh, Peglin's great. Yeah. If you guys haven't played Peglin, play it. Pico Park. I wanted to destroy my friendships. <laughs> It's a Tetris. Metal Slug tactical game. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah there's oh, the, uh, whatever that, I don't remember what it's called, but it's called something, that's for sure. Yeah. Star Overdrive, there we go. Yeah. It looks really good. Star Overdrive looks like a lot of fun. I, I can appreciate that fun feeling. And Baltero with fucking Vampire mm. Survivors, and, uh, hold on, <laughs> Shrek? Shrek's Shrek coming! Shrek is watch Sim! <laughs> <laughs> And Neva. Neva looks really great, too. Mm. But God, Shrek Power Wash Sim got me. Shrek that was Power Wash Sim is so, so funny. So fucking funny. <laughs> I did not see that coming. This one at no, all. I don't think anyone did. I know Power Wash Sim has done some wild fucking collabs. I did not expect yeah. Shrek. No. I, 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 so I, I saw the house. I was like, that's not. Is it? I, it, <laughs> feel like an all-star god damn it yeah. i'm re-listening to this shit it's like okay yeah oh my god yeah i, I recognize it once i saw the outhouse i'm like no 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 way <laughs> so coming out within the next couple months apparently because yeah. fall's almost over like fall's over in october baby like you got like Two months. Yeah. Oh fuck, that's funny. And because of the way Power Sim works, do, does that mean Shrek is gonna text you? What I wouldn't like, give to get a text message like, from Shrek, though. Hey, my my house is fucked up. The help. No, no, no. He's gonna be texting you like, "This is exactly how I want my house. Why the fuck are you cleaning it? I want my house dirty. <laughs> I want to have layers like an onion. Get out of here." Get out of my swamp. What the fuck are you doing? Exactly, that's what's gonna happen. He's not gonna be like, clean my shit, nah. If anything, Fiona's gonna be like, hey, can you clean this shit? Shrek's getting a little, and the Shrek's gonna be like, no. And she's gonna be like, I'm gonna kick your ass. And he'll be like, okay, yeah, sure, clean it. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, she's, she's got all the power, you know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you're watching this. Well, first and foremost, thank you for Mia for coming on super last minute because I was just yeah. like, I saw, I saw, I saw a fucking Finn and Mia in the chat. I'm like, Finn, Mia, if you, if you want to join, I love doing these things <laughs> with people. Come join. And Mia's like, yeah, sure. Why the fuck not? I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Mia, for joining on in. Go check her out on her huh. uh, Twitch, which leads to her YouTube, which is uh, Transberry Milkshake, which uh, will lead you to some great content, which is usually... Uh, uh, what have you been streaming recently? I know you did a uh, Sonic a little while ago. I know you obviously done Celeste I've, quite I've a few times. I've been meaning to do more Sonic. More Sonic? Yeah. And so again, all the RPGs I need to play. <laughs> <laughs> if you want more Sonic, and I bet Mia will have plenty to say on her next stream about the new Sonic, uh, Sonic trailer. Oh my god, I will be the most annoying person. So if you want to hear about, about this trailer. You want to hear about that new Sonic trailer? You're going to talk to Mia because she's going to have that shit right for you. Because, like, that Sonic trailer did look really good, though. It looks really good. Um, and I want to thank you guys for watching with me. It's, uh, th th it, was a, it was a good showcase. It was a good direct. It was very cute. Um, even if there wasn't, obviously, the one thing we were all waiting for, which was uh, very clearly uh, um, Silk Song. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. you know, they haven't, they haven't not said they're not bringing Silk Song to the Switch yet. So, who knows? True. Maybe, like, next week they'll announce it. <laughs> 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 they'll, they'll announce it. Uh, 
they'll announce it when everyone has a stable economic situation. So, like Rogue never. said, never. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a fantastic day. Stay safe. Stay button is cool. Stay, stay Mia cool. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.